Happy New Year. Stock market was down 20% by the end of last year. What is next? Stay tuned and find out. Happy New Year. My name is Terry Saka. Welcome to The Wealth Transfer. Uh, this has been an extraordinary, I think, couple years, really, uh, since 2016 election. Uh, a lot has taken place. Uh, last year, we ended the markets with a 20% decline in the stock market, or right around there. And uh, the predictions, of course, are anything from raging back up to dropping another 50%. Uh, but what I wanted to do is first say hello, well, Happy New Year to everyone. I hope you had an amazing Merry Christmas. Uh, for me, it was just too slow, not slow, but um, not really enough time. <laughs> I think it'd be nice if we could have four weeks off and not have to think of anything like the Europeans, right? Uh, that's probably the only thing I think I want to take from the European example. Uh, but in 2019, there's a lot to discuss and a lot coming. What's going to happen to the stock market, people are asking. Well, I want to get into not only the market conditions. That's what we've been doing here at the Wealth Transfer for a little while is market conditions. We want to get into other things as well. For instance, we want to talk about in the, next, in the coming weeks here, what's going on in the markets? We are down 20%. That's already a pretty good decline for the year, of course. Uh, and what's coming? Is there going to be a rebound? Is this a small correction? Is there something bigger? Now, all the information we've been putting out for you know, the last handful of years, um, there's a lot more to this. And unfortunately, folks, if it's not handled correctly, which I don't personally think it will be, if you just look at what's going on around the world, I will not be surprised to see this market down another 40 or 50 percent from here. So please keep that in perspective. Uh, but I want to get into, in the coming weeks, what's going on in the markets? What does the data say? Because remember, it's not about me. Here at Wealth Transfer, all these years we've been doing this now, some seven years, it's not really about me, per se. It's about the macro information, what's really going on in the world that is going to impact our buying power. That's all. This program was established by Dr. Charles Vance, really, He's the one that dragged me in on his own television program at Charles Vance Ministry and had me in for an interview and then pretty much made me start doing television to get the information out. Myself, I was an accredited asset management specialist, multiple financial degrees uh, in advisory as well as in commodities. And so I do understand uh, what the financial world is saying and I do understand why they're saying it. Uh, but over these years, we've been talking about bigger things. How is the, the world itself going to impact our lives? And it comes down to the buying power. That's all this was about. Protecting the kingdom's buying power. God gave a dream specifically years ago. Get my people ready. That's where Cornerstone was manifested from. And it was about get them ready. Something in the global cycle of this stuff, the paper stuff. Something's not, we're entering this phase of a big paradigm shift. Now, this isn't something to panic about. It's happened over the years. I, when you go back to the United States, we've had probably four different currencies. All we know is we are coming up to a point of an extreme debt burden globally and the geopolitics globally is coming to a head. So over the next few weeks, not only do we want to talk about market updates, why it's, well, we all probably know why it crashed 20%, right? But is it sustained? Is it going to keep coming? And what should we do about it? We want to talk about banks. We want to inform you. We're going to give detailed uh, shows as well as developing a DVD series about the banking system. And uh, that includes the brokerage firms, by the way. And we want to discuss about the banks, what it really means. Folks, we, I know because most people I talk to, we don't have a grip on how corrupt to the level they are in the banking system and how the laws are there to defend them and protect them only as secured creditors. How they just move right in. 
push people around, take things that's not theirs. But what I'm getting at is you're an unsecured creditor in the banking system. So your bank, your brokerage, you're unsecured. If you think your retirement system or your retirement savings is secure, you better think again. The only thing that most we, the people, are relying on is it will never crash or go away. The banks will survive. My brokerage firm will always be around. It's not a big deal. We have FDIC insurance. But do you? So we want to discuss that in detail so you can be properly protected to preserve what you're working hard for. And you need to know the rules because the stories that have been coming to us uh, from people all over the country about what the banks had done to them or how they pushed them around or took things from them, it's astonishing. And you wouldn't know it because the mainstream doesn't talk about it. We also want to talk about the American dream. What does the American dream mean? Really, think about it. What does it mean to us? What does it mean to our children, our grandchildren? What's the future? What is the American dream, number one? But what's the future of uh, those that are coming up in America now? And we also want to talk about within that American dream, the global reality. The U.S. dollar was the reserve currency for 40 some years. Well, ever since World War II, really, right? But the world is changing and there's more to it than people realize right down to the very core of what President Trump did with General Mattis leaving as uh, the council in the White House. These are old school generals. The Pentagon and the military are mostly old school. And I'm gonna show you why Trump's taking the angles he's taking. And folks, it's not out of line, as you may think. What it's doing is taking an old dog and you can't teach them a new trick, right? And these are good people. I, General Mattis and them, I just think they were all outstanding individuals and his character and people that have served our country immensely. But they're old school in the geopolitic. And if you can only imagine the hundreds of billions or trillions that is in the military complex and what's involved in the Middle East. But you'll also understand why it's irrelevant now. And it's China's the real issue and why Trump seems to be the only one to get this. And I think the reason he's the one that gets it is because he's not corrupt in the sense business, business dealings. And if you want to understand it deeper, just read books like Clinton Cash and from that author, and he'll outline it. It's not just about the Clintons, although they are highly corrupt. It's about politicians in general in the United States and how it's not really illegal but how they're able to do business deals with family members like their children and, and others with all these foreign countries and how it's at the mass of billions and billions. And, and there's a system here. When you have that kind of system, they don't want to change it. But it has to be changed for we the people. And so we want to get in and discuss a little bit of that. So I'm going to go in, just kind of briefly touch on this today. Uh, I'm also going to then get in deeper over the weeks because as this market continues to whipsaw like this, we want to understand where it's going or what the data is saying. We really should understand our rights within the banking system and your brokerage system. You really need to know that. Wait till you see that series that's coming about the banking rules. And then we want to talk about what the American dream means for us, for we the people. And I'm really only referring to the kingdom, mind you, um, not to be rude to it. But I'm not prescribing to the social anarchy we're seeing. It's, it's truly about you know, patriotism, constitutionality. Those in the kingdom and Jesus Christ are, are, are a whole Ju uh, Judeo-Christian angle. Uh, but it's about preserving our ability in the kingdom to survive. We all see the persecution. We all know it's coming. And we've been here on Christian television, and I've stayed steadfast on Christian television because I really believe kingdom first, God first, and everything else will be added. God made it very clear, put me first, and then everything else will come. I'm not changing that. So, you know, one thing we need to do is be educated. We need to get information. We need to be active and involved in understanding our options, and here's a good place to do that. Terrorism.
terrorism, a volatile stock market, rising food costs, natural disasters. Every day, our economy is at risk, but your assets should not be. Cornerstone Asset Metals is here to help you protect and preserve what you have worked so hard to gain. Whether you have IRAs to protect, 401ks to preserve, or cash in the bank, our accredited asset management specialists are here to support you. Call now and we'll send you urgent information regarding changes to the dollar and challenges to our economy that you need to be prepared for. Learn how easy it is to roll over your current IRA or 401k into a physical precious metals IRA. We can even arrange to have your precious metals stored in a private vault or send it directly to your home. Do not delay. Call 888-747-3309 or register online at cornerstoneassetmetals.com today. Invest in precious metals and create security in your future today. Call now. Welcome back. So one thing I want to just insert real quick, uh, how you can contact us is I would just say if anything, contact us, you could go to cornerstoneassetmetals.com, go to client support, wealthtransferministries.org. You could go there as well. Uh, but what I do want to do is let people know uh, our YouTube is uh, something we're going to start actively uh, working with now. Uh, we really believe the YouTube has some potential to reach a wider audience than just television at certain times. So go to YouTube and go to Wealth Transfer Television and subscribe. And then when we, when we have our new programs, we're putting them out in little 10 minute bursts so you can watch them uh, you know, easily uh, and take breaks with them. So remember also when you do go to YouTube, if you can, like it. If you do like the content, hit the like button, the little thumbs up. Uh, it just helps with the ratings, but we're going to work towards that. You could also go to Instagram. Instagram is Cornerstone Mint. They have wonderful photographs, little one minute videos there of great teaching. Uh, and you could become a part of the, the you know, the, the group there. Uh, I think we've got over 17,000 followers now on Instagram and we're gonna continue to grow this. We realize that some aspects of social media is important. Um, I personally can't stand social media. I think they're all, you know, anti-free speech Nazis, but we have to use them to some extent until we can get some Christians to build platforms that we can use so when the persecution is coming even more than it's already coming on us, uh, we can have our own platform and I think it's necessary. I think if anything, what we've seen through 2018 uh, was the panic of the election, uh, which we horribly lost in Congress. Um, doesn't give me a whole lot of hope, folks, for America. Uh, there is definitely groups and regions that are absolutely blown out with anything of common sense. Um, the socialism, everything else included, is bad, bad, bad. And we're finding this country to be divided even more. They're trying to say it was President Trump doing the division. I say he's the only one trying to destroy the division. This is purely about socialists, Marxist, revolutionary, anarchists on the left, which seems the whole Democrat party, and then those on the right, which are more conservative, neutral middle of the rotors, libertarians, but those that believe we have rights to be free and no one has a right to take what's not theirs and you know where that argument goes. We are so divided we can't have conversations anymore. I don't believe there's a conversation to be had when you're discussing something with a, a deep liberal because most of the information is false that they're referencing. So our country's in a very divided state what does that mean for the American dream? We're gonna find out, uh, but we have to stay focused and it's hard because our lives are busy. And considering we're in one of the longest market expansions in our history, this correction seems very normal, but the fact is, is it gonna sustain? So what I do wanna do is go into talking about the actual stock market itself. Let's uh, just show you some brief updates on some things, some basic things, but something that's important to understand for the question, is this route of, of market decline going to continue? Remember, these bounces are very normal, so be cautious to that. Uh, but the first one I wanna show you is the initial jobless claims. And in this initial jobless claim, you notice that at the bottom, so this goes all the way back to 1970 on the left, and then bring it to the right. Now, the big gray shaded area on the right was the 2008 recession or depression, however you want to define it. And then you can see they show initial claims collapsing. 
Most of that's false, by the way. A lot of people have fallen off the unemployment rolls. We do have a tremendously high non-participation rate. But the initial claims, every time we've hit bottoms on these initial claims, if you notice, massive recessions come in. We are at literally the lowest on initial claim that we've had since 1970. That's extraordinary. And it's something we want to keep in context with the cycle of the stock market. Once we see initial claims go this low, all the jobs have been coming in, the salaries are rising, they're supposedly supposed to be inflation. That's about the time you typically have a recession. Uh, but right now, we're at the lowest we've seen going back to 1970, and that has to say something. Um, the next one is in the S&P itself. So the S&P 500 large cap index, I just want to show this as in, from the left, you see it's 2000, and the middle is 2008, and then the question mark on the right is where we're at today. Well, these market drops in 2000 and 2008, 47 and 55 percent. Look at, here's the thing to measure though. Look at the left and look at the right. Very similar expansions, then you have a contraction and the market collapses and we start all over again. But you notice the expansions were very consistent with each other. And then look at where we're at today. Look at how explosive our expansion was since 2008. And a lot of people think fine, but here's the problem. When the correction comes, it's gonna be bigger because a lot of the expansion was fake. And I say fake, the numbers were rigged. It was all inflated money, borrowed money, it's leveraged money, it's all way bigger than you can imagine. Lowered numbers, the stock market valuations are not real. Uh, that's why the fangs, which are Facebook, Amazon, all them, have been hit so hard because they just weren't real. Uh, this is very telling that a correction is coming. Now granted, it's already been 20% doesn't mean that it keeps going. But all we know is there's not a lot behind it because of what's going on globally. And that's why we have to pay attention because if this market goes where I think it's going, we easily are gonna see another 40% drop from here. So here's the question. Do you have all those years to recover? You just have to be cautious. So what we want to do is when we're looking at the markets, you want to look at the markets from a perspective of the macro picture. And I have people ask, what do you mean micro, macro? I'm talking the smaller aspect of it to today's market. What, what did today do in the stock market? If you're a day trader, that might matter. But to most of us, it's a retirement account. It's an IRA. It's our future. So today's numbers is only today. It's not really relevant, but that's more micro. Even the week or the month could be micro. But when we start talking macro, we're talking about years. We're talking about future savings for the future of retirement, for our children's children, for inheritances. What is a stable way to hold assets to free cash flow? How are we supposed to manage this? Now, most of us in the United States are pigeonholed into the concept of stock markets, financial advisory, 401k, here's what we do. Well, the markets are down 20% for last year. They're not looking very good this year. They're probably not going back up 20%. And if they do, you're back to zero. But it'll be even worse because inflation will be there and you'll still have lost buying power. So even this year, the markets aren't looking good. The only place we're really seeing activity right now are in some of the precious metals, of course. Silver and gold have been very strong, uh, at least on the base of it. Silver is still near the bottoms. It's only up about uh, not even 10% really from the bottom. So silver is a great buy right now. Uh, but more importantly, being in cash and being ready because we don't know where these markets are going. All we know is the macro information that we're going to share and we have been sharing here at Wealth Transfer speaks for itself. We did talk about leading up to this 20% crash. We said specifically weeks before, we showed data one, two months before the end of the year that this was coming down and here was happening and lo and behold, it has. Uh, for personally, folks, I don't believe this is all of it. So it's important to be diversified. It's important to get information and understand what real tangible assets are about. Give Cornerstone a call. 
There are operators standing by, register for information, but get involved in learning and working, especially with an on-fire uh, company like Cornerstone. But here's a good place to get started. Buying power, what does it mean to you and your family? Have you noticed the prices of everything we buy are rising? Goods and services are becoming more expensive and the money you work so hard for buys less and less and less. If you save $250,000 in cash in the 1960s, that cash today would be worth approximately the same, $250,000. Yet does it have the same buying power today? No, not even close. Now take that same $250,000 from the 60s saved in silver instead of cash. Today, it would be worth a staggering $4.25 million. Now that's buying power. Protect and preserve your buying power now by rolling over a portion of your IRA into a silver IRA. Use the power of constitutional money silver to protect your standard of living in retirement and maintain the quality of life you are hoping for. The paper dollar you are saving has tremendous challenges ahead, so don't delay. Call Cornerstone Asset Metals now at 888-747-3309. Don't give away your hard-earned savings any longer. Be diversified. Get protected today. Welcome back. So I was just kind of told that uh, where we should reference is the market cycles are the market cycles topping out. Now, this is a program we did. Go back, if you had not seen the program, this is just before the stock market started crashing. Go back uh, to our YouTube channel, which is Wealth Transfer Television. Go to the YouTube channel and look at the, uh, are the markets topping out? Now this program was done and then the following week it started to actually come true and then of course the markets are down 20%. We've been showing the data. That's all we're about here is the data. Because the data, I believe, speaks for itself but it, what's amazing is how the data shows, well, it has for so long, shows such a broken system, but yet for so many handful of years here, it was working. It was almost as if we were driving down the road on bald tires, but it worked. But the data was saying something else, folks, and it was more than just the data on the markets, company profits. It was about debt. We've exploded debt to the tune of 180 trillion beyond where we were in 2008 globally, and that's a big deal. So I'd say go back to the YouTube channel, uh, Wealth Transfer Television, look up that Are the Markets Topping Out program, give us a thumbs up, like us there, become part of it if you're not. Uh, we're gonna start really becoming active at YouTube where we're gonna give really pertinent market updates and, and little educational videos on different topics that we know are important. And I know some of this seems dry, especially when we're getting into petrodollar in the Middle East and China and Russia. But when you understand how important and how big the impact this is going to be to our lives, you're going to want to be better prepared. This is not a doomsday deal. This is getting ready for what is coming. Something to America is coming that I think we're going to be surprised um, and it's not politics. You can leave that out. I'm, I'm done with politics too. I'm done with both sides for that matter. I am very, very pleased that President Trump is trying to destabilize the globalization of our souls. Very pleased he's trying to protect the Christian kingdom. Uh, but when you see the you know, ferocious nature of our mainstream media and uh, the politics on the left and the assassination and the character assassination that takes place, it's unbelievable. All I know is they're trying to hide something, and we all know what that is on the corrupt levels of um, the elite, uh, the globalist elite and the left, especially in those WikiLeaks emails, by the way. You should always know that. <laughs> I tried myself, I won't go politics, but the thing is our country needs to be aware because what is coming is different than what we think. They're, this, this destabilization politically is going to take place on the heels of a European system that is fragile. The European culture that is collapsing. And you need to get that because what's going on in Europe, Japan, these are our trade partners, is going to directly impact us here. Remember, they're all connected. We are all globally connected as partners and we're going down together when this goes down. And when I say go down, I mean these currencies. There's some form of reset, something is coming, 
because we cannot sustain the debts that have been taking place over the last five, six years. So when it comes to the stock market, for instance, another indicator that we want to get into is this, which is the bubble trouble. Now we've been talking about it and you've been hearing bubbles. And if you look at this cycle going back even into the 70s, where you had the gold bubble way back when, then you know the, the other bubbles, Thailand and tech and housing in China, and then you, know, you have biotech was the last real big one. And then the one on the right here is the red, that's e-commerce. Now, I call that the, you know, the whole Facebook, the whole Amazon. That was a real big driver into this economy. These bubbles have been strict indicators of something isn't right. This e-commerce was a big one, big one. And you think that 20% is off, it's a lot more than that, folks. And when you see how high this bubble went, you'll under, you understand. The other one is the markets versus the trend. Now, this one just shows kind of in a character form going back to 2000. We had the boom going into 2000. Then we had the bear market. Then we had the bull market going up to 2008. Then the bear market, mind you, those were Shemitahs. We, we were supposed to have another bear market starting in 2015, but heavy money printing and manipulation and corruption in the financial system um, stalled that. Well, and we had a great election that completely floored the world uh, and kind of made money pumping you know, even easier. But we've been in a bull market now since 2008, 9-ish, and it has been unsustainable. This is such a dramatic bull market. We are now 20% down in the bear cycle, which is technically a bear market, but we'll wait and see how that plays out. Uh, but I have a feeling we're coming down a lot more than this. And this is just one indicator, folks, to help you see that we are volatile, but I highly doubt it's going to probably stay this way. So the markets are at its high. We're down 20%. These cycles indicate that we've peaked. I believe we've hit a peak economy and we haven't even touched on Europeans or Chinese. And if you can understand, the Chinese were instrumental in really bringing about this, this uh, economic drive since 2008. So we're gonna get more into that. Uh, next week, we'll, we'll start detailing more about some banks. We'll get into a little bit about the American dream. Uh, but just note, it's a brand new year and don't, best way to put it is be cautious, be optimistic though. Because if you're in the right place, as we say, on the right side of the fence in history, you have an opportunity to score a tremendous return by diversifying yourself into physical assets, especially like this. And a cornerstone's a magnificent place to do it. This cycle's on the bottom. The rest is on the top. You want to be in the right place because this next wave, wave around will bring a nice roll into your portfolio. And the question is, do you have time to wait for another market crash? So be cautious. Be diversified, and we'll catch up next week.